Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna do something a little bit different than what we usually do here on our blog, the channel, Facebook page. And a few weeks ago, maybe just a while ago, I actually posted on Instagram and asked you guys if you'd like to see a compilation of my favorite things that I love to use in business, maybe some apps, tech tools, anything that I'm really enjoying, and then also mix it up with a couple of products that I use in my everyday life that I also really enjoy, and call it something like Kim's Favorite Things. And you guys overwhelmingly said, yes, absolutely, please do it. So I'm so excited to share with you five of my favorite things in business that I'm really enjoying, that my team and I are loving, and then also five things that I love and use every single day for my everyday life. It's kind of just a way for you to get to know me better. This is not a sponsored video at all. I think I might be an affiliate um, for Amazon for like one of the books I'm gonna recommend, but don't have to use my link. Uh, so just a disclaimer, this is not sponsored, it's actually the things that I love and use every single day and I just wanna share them with you. So let's get started with my top five favorite things at the moment for business. And the first one that I really love, and I have to say, I have to give mad props to my husband, Chris, is these awesome Beat headphones. Um, so these are the Solo uh, kind of series. I'm not too familiar with the models and all that stuff, but I have to say, I love these noise reduction headphones. They're absolutely amazing. They're super comfortable. Um, I'm actually wearing them excessively. <laughs> like I wear them all the time, pretty much since the time I wake up. I love that I can use them on the gym. They're totally Bluetooth you know, enabled and um, they're super comfortable, easy to travel with. They kind of break down like this um, and they're super, super easy to take anywhere with you. Love these for listening to my meditations, for listening to my Bible app, you know, anytime I'm watching a movie or I'm watching a YouTube channel, podcast, audiobooks. I mean, I feel like headphones are one of those things that you absolutely need in business. And I just kind of, you know, never really went for the higher end ones. I always use very inexpensive ones. And this is just a world of a difference. I think they're worth every penny. They're not cheap, but I know that Black Friday is coming around the corner, so is Cyber Monday, and so you might be able to get them on sale. Love these, highly recommend them um, for sure. The second thing is right under it, and I'm, kind of, I'm noticing I'm kind of like reaching, so I'm just gonna pull this table over where all my stuff is and hopefully <laughs> you can still see. Um, all right, so next thing is my full focus planner. And you've, if you follow the blog, you know that I've talked about this a billion trillion times already. I love it. I know we are massively overdue for a serious review on this baby, but I love it. It's by Michael Hyatt and they just revised it this last quarter. And it's this really great, amazing, easy to use tool that lets you plan your entire day. I was never a planner person. I'm, I have always been kind of like a digital, you know, um, kind of girl. I love my Trello. I love using Slack and all these amazing tools, uh, Google calendars, and I still do. I have a digital and an analog uh, system, like a dual planning system, and I absolutely love it. So. Full Focus Planner completely changed the game for me this year. It's been one of those tools that is just absolutely necessary for my business. It's helped me stay on track with my quarterly goals. I've hit my quarterly goals every single quarter this year, which is something that's never happened before. I always had to like tweak or change a couple of things here and there. And this year has been massive, massive growth for us. And I have to give Full Focus Planner credit because it's helped me keep track of not just you know, my yearly goals, my quarterly goals, but then it also keeps track of weekly goals and also daily ones. So every single day I set my big three. Um, and if you wanna check out like a full kind of um, detailed breakdown of how I review my quarter, check out my quarterly review plan. Um, it's gonna be linked here in the YouTube cards as well as in the accompanying blog that goes with this episode. But this planner, I mean, I just absolutely love it. The pages are very concise, but they also are super, super practical. Um, so you have a full like calendar for the quarter. You also have, you know, a space here at the beginning 
to plan um, your yearly goals. So you have your annual goals. It's something that you're supposed to review every single day so you stay on track. And then you have detailed goal pages so you can track whether or not you're on pace, what are some of your key motivations, what category is your goal in, whether it's a habit goal or an achievement goal. And then of course you have your daily pages which are super helpful as well. You can just plan your big three and then, oops, hit my mic, sorry about that. And then you can just go in with your notes. I love that it has one of my favorite aspects of this is your weekly preview. And this is so helpful. I love it because you get to review what worked and what didn't that week and stay on track. So you can jot down your biggest wins, really go in there and figure out how far you got with your three goals for the week. Did you complete all of it? What percentage did you complete? Then you go on and talk about what worked, what didn't, how you're going to improve moving forward. And then you also get to um, tick off that you've reviewed your goals, you know, things that you accomplished, your tasks that you didn't accomplish, things that you need to delegate. And then you go on and really just break down what you need to get done the following week. This alone is extremely helpful. It goes in here and also helps you optimize your weekend if you want to, you know, plan that as well. Love this thing. It's kind of like attached to me. <laughs> it goes wherever I do and highly, highly, highly recommend this. I've been recommending this to all of our members inside the business lounge the entire year. And so I just, I just had to share it because it's one of those tools that I just can't get enough of literally. So we're going to put this right here. Hope it doesn't fall and then head into the next thing. Um, and this is also a great business book that probably you've already heard of. I know it's been making its rounds for a while now, especially here on YouTube. So high performance habits by Brandon Bouchard. Love this book. So if you, this is maybe the first time you're watching, you know, a video uh, on our channel, welcome. Please subscribe and go check out my previous video on um, burnout and how I am slowly recovering and moving past burnout, experienced massive burnout um, at the beginning of this year, but really it started at the end of last year. And um, one of the things that I've been changing completely is my lifestyle, my wellness routine. I'm starting to really take care of myself, mind, body, and spirit. And this was one of the books that really motivated me to get going with that, get really strategic on how I'm going to be operating on a day-to-day -day basis in my business because I was going at it full force, 14, 16 hour days, and it was just way too much. Um, so I've been able to really slow down in terms of the hours that I'm working. You know, now I work five to six hours a day. I take multiple days off if I need to. It's not a big deal. Um, and it's because I've become way more efficient um, at, you know, really managing my time and figuring out what are the most important things in my business. And that's allowed me to work so much less. Like I, I probably work a third of what I used to um, and then make so much more money. So we've been able to scale the business significantly. We basically doubled um, our revenue in the last 60 days alone. So that's been really, really exciting. Um, and I'm not saying that this is the book that's gonna do that for you. I'm just saying that the performance habits that Brennan talks about here are essential. These are things that you need to be implementing in your business if you want to have the bandwidth and the mental clarity and the physical and emotional strength to take the leap and up level your business and get to that next milestone that you're really wanting to reach. So highly, highly recommend this. A must read for all entrepreneurs in every single stage. And even if you're not an entrepreneur, you know, if you are, um, maybe you're in corporate America or you are an artist or you aspire to do some kind of, you know, cool thing in the world, which I think we all do, definitely read this book. I love it. I got my dad, uh, actually my husband got me reading this and then he got my dad to read it as well. We're really excited um, about it. So pick up a copy, highly, highly, highly recommend it. All right, so moving on to the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys that I'm loving. This is something that is so basic, but it's just, it's, it's not basic, it's like expected. It's my laptop. I absolutely love this thing. It's amazing. I got this last year um, during Black Friday and I didn't want to like 
recommend it until I had used it for a few months and really had gotten you know, good use out of it, figured out the ins and outs. This is the HP Spectre 360, um, and the specs on this baby are impressive, let me tell you. This is an amazing machine. Um, I'm not an Apple girl, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, I'm just gonna set it right here because it has some of my notes, but um, I'm totally a Windows gal. <laughs> and I love Apple for my phone, and I love Apple for iPads, and I love it for Apple TV, but I just, I just can't really justify the price for a computer that doesn't have the specs that I need. And again, this is totally my experience. I can already hear people yelling at me in the comment section. So if you're an Apple fan, please don't take this as, you know, some kind of offense. I love Apple. They're an amazing company and I fully respect them. But when it comes to my machine, I am an HP girl. I don't just like Windows. I like HP a lot. I've had HP computers pretty much since I started my business and they're just durable. They stand the test of time and I work these babies into the ground. So I got a computer um, like this one that really had a lot of processing power, had the 4K res screen. It's also touch. Um, it is also convertible. So that's really helpful, you know, when I'm just tapping around my computer or if I want to um, draw out a funnel or I want to go in and just chillax and, you know, take a look at some of the uh, drafts for blogs that are happening. I can just chat with my team, take this, you know, kind of wherever I am at. If I have a meeting, I can also just use it kind of, you know, like this and, and show people around um, a presentation. So it's super helpful. I love this thing. Um, kind of converts as a big <laughs> tablet and it's super, super reliable. So it has an SSD drive. It has really great RAM memory um, as well as storage space. It's lightning fast and I haven't had an issue with it outside of one thing that I think HP totally screwed up on and that is the lightning port. I don't know if that's what it's called actually, but it's just the port where you charge the actual computer. The charger is so, it's like a micro USB and it's so thin and flimsy that literally like within 10 days, it already had bent. So I took it back to Best Buy and they were like, we don't have a replacement. You're gonna have to order it from you know HP. And that was just a hassle. It still worked, but it was bent and I did not bend it, I promise. It's the flimsiest thing on earth. Not okay, HP, please fix that. The other thing is it doesn't come in the color that I wanted it to, so that's just something really stupid. But <laughs> I really like my computers to be like silver or maybe rose gold. And um, it doesn't, it only comes in this color for now, I believe. So that's, it was a big drawback for me, but that's, I know that's ridiculous. So those are my five, you know, things. Um, tools, resources in business that I'm, I'm absolutely loving. I'm excited to maybe share with you guys some other stuff that is a little bit different. Maybe do a full tech review, um, some of the uh, equipment that I love to use in my business um, and kind of mix it up. Maybe I'll do like something totally different with like maybe health food items that I love that have really helped me bounce back from burnout. But speaking of health food, I just wanted to share a couple other things that I love. I've been really enjoying in my business. Um, sorry, that I've been really enjoying in my personal life. And I thought that you should try them too. So the first one is this amazing ceremonial grade matcha tea. So if you are not a tea drinker, please get on the tea game at least try it out. I was not a tea drinker either, um, but now I'm just addicted to this stuff. And this matcha tea is incredible for health benefits. So if you drink coffee right now, caffeine really isn't the best thing, um, but you can transition into using something like matcha. So matcha is like green tea, but it is like a super dose of it. So if you open it up, you'll notice it's like this bright green powder and you want to make sure that you're getting the ceremonial grade. It's a tea that's manufactured and it's originally from Japan and 
it is amazing. It's grown in low light, so it produces a ton of chlorophyll, which of course is really great for detoxing our body. And then it also contains a bunch of amazing chemicals just naturally in green tea. And if you know that green tea is good for you because it has tons of antioxidants, it helps with weight loss, it also is a great replacement for caffeine in that it kind of induces a state of alertness um, and it's not going to overstimulate you, but matcha is like getting a super dose of that because it's grounded tea leaves, green tea leaves. And so you put the powder in you know, a glass and then you stir it and you put some hot water in, you can heat it up or just use it in a kettle, add some honey, add some lemon, maybe add some ginger. I usually add all three and it tastes absolutely delicious. Plus you're gonna get so many amazing compounds in your tea. Green tea has EGCG and ECG, which are amazing compounds that scavenge free radicals in your body and protect your cells' DNA. Plus it has catechins, which really help with protecting your cells from UV light. They're also amazing compounds to have. It's just a protective barrier in your body the chlorophyll is also super helpful um, if you want to use it for weight loss. It also has been clinically tested to help with weight loss and reducing um, you know, the amount of, of fat levels in your body, which is a nice benefit. And then you can also use it as a pre-workout if it's something that you already take. You know, Instead of taking those super chemically strange caffeine-laden um, uh, pre-workouts that maybe are not very clean, um, use something that's natural. And the thing about green tea that I love is that, it, like I mentioned, it induces that state of alertness, but it's also a calm alertness, right? Like your heart isn't gonna pound out of your chest because you're overdosing on caffeine. I mean, it might if you take too much, but um, I'm one of those people that I can't take coffee. I don't like it, but it also, I'm super sensitive to caffeine and it makes me feel like I'm so anxious, gives me like a panic attack. I hate it. But what happens with green tea is it has this amino acid called L-theanine and L-theanine really just induces um, some pretty awesome chemical compounds in your brain that help you calm down like GABA and dopamine. So Love this thing, drink it every morning, and it's amazing. The other thing is Curology, and if you have been around the YouTube sphere and maybe you struggle with acne or wrinkles or both like I do, you probably have seen an ad for Curology. And I have to say, I thought that it was really gimmicky at first, but I love Curology. It's amazing. So I've been looking for, um, something to help with my acne for a long time. I just, last year I've really been into K-beauty and kind of taking better care of my skin and doing all of that good stuff. And Curology is this really great service that helps you work with a dermatologist online. It's completely online, it's an app, and they'll go in and you'll take some pictures, you'll fill out a questionnaire, talk about some of your skincare concerns, and they'll formulate um, an amazing, product specifically for your skin. So mine, I wanted to get on retinol for my acne and then also for my wrinkles. And I tried so many different retinols and they just crushed my skin. You know, if you've been on retinols before, you know that they're pretty abrasive. It's just a derivative of vitamin A and it causes your skin to regenerate um, a little bit faster, right? It increases cell regeneration, but that can cause a lot of kind of dryness and flakiness. So my face just got so much worse. Um, I tried using Differin for like six months and it worked for me in high school, just the OTC version didn't work for me. I was really frustrated because I was getting so many pimples. Um, my face just hurt all the time, it's just not great. And so I got, you know, a, a few people recommended Curology. I got on the app, did my whole consultation, tried it for a month for free. I think you just pay shipping. And then um, I loved my dermatologist. She's amazing. She kind of walked through everything with me um, and they formulated super awesome product. It was you know, at my doorstep about a week later and it has um, my specific prescription is tritinoin, which is you know, Retin-A. And then uh, it also has 
clindamycin and azelaic acid, which azelaic acid is amazing. It's been amazing for my skin. It really works for me. So I love this. Um, if you've struggled with acne and maybe you've tried a lot of different things like I have and nothing has worked, this has worked the best for me. I'm still not acne free. Uh, I'm totally revamping my diet um, to really tackle that because I think I might have some gluten intolerances and maybe some grain intolerances that are just wreaking havoc on my life. But um, so far, this has worked amazing topically, and I highly recommend that you check it out. Speaking of K-Beauty and other beauty products, um, one of my favorites, oh my gosh, I love this thing. This is amazing. It's the Laneige, um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, sleeping mask, and this is a lip sleeping mask. They have one that's, you know, for your full face, but this is a lip sleeping mask, and I love this. I was at H Mart the other day, and I picked it up, and it's amazing. If, like me, your lips are constantly dry, and, like, you can't do anything to keep them hydrated, I literally put so much chapstick on, and it's just a struggle. So, I've been using this at night, and it's amazing. My lips feel so much plumper so much more, I would say, kind of just nourished. Um, and it's really, really pleasant. Like if you open it up, it smells super good, which probably isn't a great thing that it has fragrance, but it smells really, really good. It's like this little pink cute bottle um, and it's very inexpensive too, which is great. Just like Curology, I forgot to mention that. This is super inexpensive as well. I think it's $20 a month, which is really accessible if you compare it to what a traditional kind of tretinoin uh, or retin A prescription would be. This is actually really good. And then I think the next thing that we have is totally random. I know this is totally random, but I, I just needed to share it. Root Insurance. So Root is this awesome app that is actually insurance. It's car insurance, but they will rate you and only cover you if you're a good driver. So for about a week and a half to two weeks, you download the app and every time you're driving, Root measures whether or not you're a good driver. And they'll give you like a certain score and give you recommendations on how you can improve your driving. The better driver you are, the lower your insurance rate is. Chris and I have saved hundreds of dollars on our car insurance just by switching to Root. They're amazing. The service is super upfront. It's very clear and it's very inexpensive because they only cover um, drivers who are safe drivers. And so because they're not covering everybody, they get to pass on those savings to you. So I know this sounds like a commercial, but it's not. I love using Root and I highly, highly recommend it. And then I think the next and last thing, I think it's the last thing that we have. Um, yeah, I think it's the last thing, is my Calm app. So I have been raving about this on the blog as well, and it's this cool little app called Calm, and it is a paid app, so that's something to keep in mind, but I think it's worth every penny, and I love it. Um, so it looks something like this. We will insert a couple clips so you guys can see, and you can hear it. <laughs> it's just like you can pick what background do you want, um, and it's really neat. But basically, it has meditations um, for the day, for the night. It also has sleep time stories, which are really great, and then also some master classes on, you know, lowering stress in the body, figuring out how to integrate wellness into your everyday life, and how to stay in a state of calmness and really take care and listen to your body. And so I've been using this and absolutely loving it. It's been so helpful um, just to have a quick, you know, five, 10 minute session every morning. Um, and then also at night to fall asleep to sleep time stories because they're not just for adult, not for, not just for kids. They're also for adults. Love sleep time stories. So anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful. Um, these are my favorite things at the moment. I will keep you guys updated, possibly also come out with a new one um, as we get closer to Black Friday. Maybe just do a tech roundup of my favorite tech tools, um, just like a little guide for you guys on Kim's favorite things. So let me know what you thought about this episode. Did you like it? Was it weird? Um, 
Was it helpful? Let me know in the comment section below. And then I'd also love to hear what some of your ideas are for future episodes. What kind of theme would you like to see next for these kinds of episodes where I'm sharing Tim's favorite things? Um, would you like me to do one that's all fashion? Maybe it's all uh, books. Maybe it's all uh, tech tools or it's all physical apps that I use in my business. I, not physical, but actual apps that I use in my business. Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. And don't forget, please, don't forget to share this with an entrepreneur friend who might find it helpful or entertaining or straight up a little strange. We'd love to welcome new subscribers and into the community. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for being here. Make sure to catch the episode um, on the blog as well because I always have bonus resources, bonus tools, bonus stuff that I can't just put in a video because we'd literally be here for five hours. So I hope you enjoyed this. I know this is super long. Hopefully I will one day get into the habit of making shorter videos. Bye for now. <laughs> so you know how building an online business can be totally overwhelming? You're probably learning new strategies from YouTube, other blogs, podcasts, and taking courses that are all great, but sometimes give you contradictory and even confusing advice. I get it. It's hard to filter through which strategies you should be implementing right now to grow your online business versus the ones that you should stow away for the future, you know, when you're actually ready to implement them. And that's exactly why we designed the online success path. Inside, we broke down the six stages of a successful online business. Validate, launch, hustle, breakthrough, profit, and scale. And we designed a complete roadmap inside the Business Lounge membership just for you. Inside each stage, you will find a step-by-step -step action guide tailored to the specific challenges you'll encounter during the stage of business you are currently at, complete with getting started tips so you can know exactly what to expect, video tutorials so that you can implement new strategies, action items so you stay on track, plus full-blown courses to help you focus only on the tasks that will accelerate your progress right now and take you to the next level in your business journey while keeping you accountable and overwhelm free. So if you're ready to take your online business to the next level, get started at jointhebelounge.com.